Hi guys, and welcome back to some magical story time for the Fairyland Tales category, where we now get into the six of those that I wrote. And of course, you know which one that's going to be now because it's the Son of Chronica. Milton Keynes had lived among the fairies for the last three years and was now 200 years old. He was still lodging with Illyria, who was also training him in the art of fairy magic and all the laws of fairyland. His knowledge was vital to him. This knowledge was vital to him, as this was his other biological home world. As the son of the former time fairy, he was due to pick up where she left off before abandoning her duties to start a family with his father. It was his first day on the job, and he was nervous. Illyria escorted him to the council time portal. I know you're nervous, Milton, but you'll be fine. I promise you, and I promise you that, she told him comfortingly. He hugged her before stepping forward. The Grand Elder addressed him. Milton Keynes, our new time fairy, you are about to embark on your first mission for this council, he said. Yes, sir, replied Milton. Once you step through this portal, you will arrive on the other side of Earth in the year 1692. Be very careful not to be mistaken for a witch, as you will arrive in Salem during the witch trials. To blend in, we advise transforming before you go, the Grand Elder told him. Milton used his magic to transform into a colonial American pilgrim father, and off he went. He arrived and immediately blended in with the locals. Nobody suspected anything, which was just how he wanted it. He knew he was only to reveal himself in an emergency, and was not to interfere with how time played out. He attended his first few trials and executions. After a few days, he was doing his job as the protector of time. When he witnessed a young woman with long wavy brown hair about to be shoved off a cliff. Uh-oh, he thought, as he saw the woman being shoved off the cliff and revealing herself to be a fairy. Back at the fairy council, they were watching on the screens and saw him rooted to the spot as the other young fairy landed and walked his way. We hadn't counted on this, said the Grand Elder. Illyria looked alarmed. Get him out of there, quick! Chronica's there! If they meet each other, time will be altered drastically, she panicked. Don't worry, my dear. He doesn't know it's her, he told her. Back in Salem, Massachusetts, 1692, Chronica walked past Milton and stopped. That was close, she said. She got herself together and walked through a portal that just opened up without so much as a glance at him. That was a close one, he thought, and carried on with his work. A week later, it was Milton's turn to be suspected of witchcraft after accidentally using magic to repair a wound for a child. He was found guilty of witchcraft and sentenced to the final test. Just as he'd seen his mother do without even knowing it and shoved off a cliff, only to poof into his true form and save his life. He came to a landing just outside the trouble and walk off to where he stood a week earlier. After such a close shave, the council decided to bring him home. As soon as he arrived back, he was in shock. Was that my mother back there? he asked. Yes, son, I'm afraid it was. It was a mistake to send you to that period, replied the Grand Elder. The next morning, Milton was ready to return to London, 2054. They thanked him for his help and apologised for nearly causing him to breach the law against messing with time. 
As soon as he arrived home, he received a visit from a special spirit. It was the form of a young woman with long wavy brown hair. She was smiling at him. Milton, my dear son, she said lovingly. Mother? said Milton inquisitively. Yes, sweetheart, it's me, your mother, Chronica the Time Fairy, replied Chronica. I'm sorry, mother, said Milton. Sorry? Don't talk such nonsense, my dear son. You did well on your first mission, and I'm very proud of you, said Chronica. We almost met each other in person, though, said Milton. I know we did, but luckily none of us realised the other was there. Even if we had met, you would have just been an elderly man in that time, she reminded him. That is true. Replied Milton. I was watching you from the realm of the dead sparkle, from the realm of dead sparkles. Every aspect of your life. You could have summoned me for advice any time you needed it, she told him. And you're proud of the man I've become? asked Milton. Milton Keynes, I am really proud of the man you've become. You're a good man to everyone who has crossed your path. You've led the life I always wanted you to lead, Chronica told him. Except being asked to take my job over, I hope the council would have given you a safer job. She told him. It's a bloodline thing, mother. I had to take the mantle from you, replied Milton. Oh, well, if you must do my old job, I want you to be very careful in case you run into me again. We can never be allowed to meet during your missions in the present and my past missions, she warned him. I understand, mother, replied Chronica. No, replied Milton. Chronica smiled as she faded away. I love you, Milton, she said before completely fading. I love you too, mother, replied Milton. As he entered to the home, he reverted back to his elderly human appearance. Before going to bed, a bright light regenerated his appearance to that of a younger man. And that was the son of Chronica. And if you want to know Chronica's story, that's the next story in the line, guys. That's coming up when the uh, next time I read one of these comes. So until then, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a magical time.